We are live at Dr. Nuruddin Olowo Popo Clinic in Isolo, where the Eco Club International is set to empower 250 individuals from five divisions of Lagos to support their business initiative. The Eco Club International is the apex social cultural group of Lagosians in the diaspora, with a primary mandate of empowering Lagosians politically, economically, and socially, and also to contribute positively to the advancement and prosperity of Lagos. However, a core blog is right here to give you the synopsis of this event. I am Joy Udo. Do stay with us. The eradication of poverty should not be the government's responsibility alone, but that which requires the collective contribution of everyone, individuals, corporate bodies, and now non-governmental, non-profit organizations. One such non-profit organization, which is taking the altruistic ideology of eradicating poverty from the lives of the ordinary Nigerian, is the Eco Club International. Eco Club International is a community-based organization of Lagosians in the diaspora, established to foster cooperation, collaboration and unity among its members, while contributing to the economic prosperity of their base home, Lagos State. Through its conventions, fundraising, investment and community-based programs within and outside its central areas of USA, Canada and Europe, the Eco Club International was inaugurated on April 3, 2000 to help promote community relations and advance socio-economic development of its members and their root community of Lagos states. The humble beginnings of the Eco Club International can be traced to the vision of a group of Lagosians, namely Sam Dikbeolu, Mr. Yasser Ganyu, and Otumba T.J. Abbas, when they held a meeting on February 15, 2000, to explore the significance of having an umbrella organization for all Eco Clubs that could effectively harness the resources of Lagos State for the common good of its communities. This year, in lieu of its yearly medical outreach, the Eco Club International conducted what would soon come to be an annual event, its 2021 Empowerment Initiative Program, with the theme Alleviating Poverty, One Person at a Time. The program, which took place at the Dr. Nuruddin Olowo Pupu Clinic in Isolo, Lagos State, saw a grant of 50,000 naira each given to 250 traders, market women, and artisans from the most economically challenged spheres of the Lagos society, drawn from the five divisions of the state, namely Lagos Island, Badagri, Ikeja, Ikerudu, and Ekbe. This empowerment came about by initiation of our president and to buy the idea to help to assist the less privileged people that have small businesses where we are trying to empower, just to help them to boost their economy. Just to boost their economy so we can have impact into what they are selling and to give them the assurance that there is still hope. The beneficiaries, we took beneficiaries from five divisions. We have the Lagos Island, we have Ikeja, Ikeja we have Badagri, we have Elkwe, and we have um, Legal, we have um, Ike, um, Ikorodu, so we took the beneficiaries from the five divisions. So the, each, each KBS from the divisions gave us ten, so, so many names, so we pick ten from each mission, make 250, which we are giving each beneficiaries 50,000 each to boost their businesses. Um, the expectation is just to have impact into their lives, to make sure there is hope, to make sure there's a lot of things we can empower them with, to make sure there's someone there that supports them, especially the ECI, which is Eco Club International, which we are there to give them that, um, that boost, to make sure everything's okay with them, because we know how the government works, just to give them that hope. Being in section over 20 years, and you know we have lots of charities that we, we support as well, so we have do medical missions, we do a lot of empowerment to different chapters. That's what we do. And we're still going to do more. This is, this is just the beginning. This is the first time we are doing this, and in fact giving them to empower them with money. So if this one goes on well, then we're able to do more. But there's still a teaching problem, but we try to fix it. But now we just want to put a smile to their face. Eco Club International is a non-for-profit organization. We are a community-based organization. We are all based in the U.S., Canada, and U.K. 
and we do have some members also here living in Nigeria as well. The Empower Initiative is to, what we're planning to do, what we, want, what we are doing today is to empower the small business owners, the hawkers, the street uh, traders that are actually struggling. We want to empower them with little amount that will help them with their businesses. Actually, this is the first time we are, we are doing this program. Usually we come here for medical mission, but due to COVID, we couldn't. So this empowerment is actually our first time. And we are going to empower 250 members from the five divisions of Lagos State. We have Badagri, Ikorodu Epe, Ikeja area, which comprises of main, all the mainland, and as well as Lagos Highland. Oh, definitely, yes. It's going to be an ongoing event annually. That's what we plan to do. Well, Eco Club International is an organization that was formed in 1978 by a group of Lagosian in the United States. We started with four, five clubs, Houston, Florida, Chicago, Canada, and New York. But today we have uh, 23 chapters in the United States, in Detroit, in Minnesota, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, in Texas, in Dallas, in uh, Houston, in uh, uh, Maryland, so we are all over now. So we have about 23 chapters now, including London and Canada. The empowerment initiatives came during one of our meetings. That, you know, we do medical mission every other year to Lagos, Nigeria. But because of the uh, pandemic, we are unable to do this. So we decided that we have to help the government. And how do we help the government is to look for the people who are less privileged, who need help. And that's why we decided that let's put some money aside since we cannot come and come and elevate other people who are just doing their own trade, uh, uh, whatever they are selling is to encourage them and to help them to move up because we know government cannot do it all. That's why we decided, but we say in order to do this well, we need to look into all the five divisions of Lagos State, which is the Ibile, Lagos, Ikeja, Ikorodu, Badagri, and Ekwe. And we decided that we cannot help everybody, so we need to give 50 individuals from each division, which is a total of 250, and give them a, a money amount of 50,000 Naira, which equates to 12.5 million. Absolutely, this is our beginning. This is a learning experience for us. There are some mistakes we've made along the way, and, but there's a lot of opportunity for us to improve for the next time. So we are learning. What we are experiencing today, we've been here since 8 o'clock. Most of the people have been here, but we are waiting for the bank. And we cannot do anything without the bank, which is unfortunate that we're working with a bank that allowed the, the citizen to sit while they are late to what they agreed to do. But it's okay, it's a learning experience for us. Hopefully they will be here and we can satisfy and make all this happy. All these people here today happy to go home with money they don't have at the beginning of the day today. You know, being the chairman is just a name. In coordination, you have to have support. And everything we're doing today is the support of every members of Eco Club International. Yes, we form a committee to look into this, about 17 people. But they are not the only people that work. Everybody in the organization, about 2,000 of us in United States, Canada, and London, we work together to make this a reality today. We are just representing the whole group. Future plan is to be more organized, um, to reach out to more people, and as well to see these people that we are empowering today, how far or what has uh, what has made the difference, what has been the difference to help them out in their economic, uh, in their business, so that maybe we can add more, or you know, just to follow them up. It's not to give them for party or something, but to empower them so that maybe as their business grows, they can as well um, uh, have more apprentices or hire people, employees, and to have more locations. Actually, we, uh, Eco Club have been help, Eco Club uh, International have been helping the Lagosians from the medical. We have medical mission that we've always been we've always been doing. This is just an added uh, program, and we 
actually think in future as uh, possible as to help our people, whatever we can do. The pandemic time, we helped with uh, palliatives and, uh, you know, people are very happy and, you know, we also, we are happy that we can as well do something in our country. This is an empowerment program organized by the Eco Club International and Eco Club International comprises of um, Eco, uh, Lagosians in uh, America, London and uh, Canada. And we are trying to empower like 250 people. Yes, I think it's going to be an annual thing or yeah, an annual thing. We're here to empower people, you know, to take them out of poverty and to help them improve with their lives. Uh, it's actually a good program. It's, it's a good empowerment program and we'll do more, we'll do more. Uh, all I have to say to the organizer is um, God will strengthen them, provide for them more. They should keep doing this for the people to help us, you know, lessen poverty in the country.